not as captivating as others, but it's moving. The reason why it's moving is because I'm going to analyze some statistics about the criminal justice system as well as the public school system. Um, I have a few things that I've written down just so y'all, if y'all want to take notes and look these up, these statistics. But before I get into any of that, let me say that this subject is dear to me because I was in a similar situation and I was incarcerated. When I was incarcerated, I got my education in jail. And one of the things that I know is that education is that it needed a new definition of life. And it was because of education I was able to come through that, become a journalist, and go up with a filmmaker. Um, one of the things I want to discuss when we talk about the documentary is that when you have people that's incarcerated and they come home, a lot of them don't come home with education. And the reason why is and one of the things a lot of people don't know is that the federal government allots dollars to each individual state based on the fifth grade, fourth, and fifth grade. So what are they doing is they're determining how many fourth and fifth graders fail. And by that, they project how many prisons are built in the next 10 to 15 years. Now, when I said I'm going to tell you about some statistics here or a few that I'm just going to read off. 80% of dropouts end up in prison. Now that those 80%, 40% are African American men. And 50% of those that drop out from college are spark. They drop out from high school, wind up ended up in jail. And if we look at the statistics, there are more African American men that are in prison, jail, parole, probation, that was enslaved during the Civil War between 18 and 50. Um, I got another fact that I want to read off to y'all. And it's about the prison system and how there's more money in prison than there is in education. In the state of New Jersey, it's $44,000 to imprison individuals for one year. You take that one individual and you send them to Princeton University, and it's $34,000. The reason why this is is because it's more money is put in the jail than it is to educate you. So the underlying thing is why would you send someone to jail instead of education? These are some of the things I'm talking about in my documentary. I have several people that I'm featuring. I have uh, Dr. Connell Webb, Dr. Boyce Watkins, Dr. Jimmy Johnson, I have Tavis Smiley, who other people. And in closing, what I want to tell everybody is the whole group of people to myself, victim, and so on to us, do everything.